As a county judge, I also do uh, uh, civil traffic infractions. So anybody got a ticket and see me? Some of you look familiar. <laughs> Mr. Compton. Yeah, you've got my mom a couple times. <laughs> your mom? <laughs> What's your mom's name? Melinda. Okay. Um, how old's your sister? Um, 16. Yeah. Eight. Okay, my daughter's eight. One more. I figured that was probably you. Um, <laughs> another know family well. Uh, in any event, as, as Professor Platt told you, I'm a county judge. And uh, the first thing I'd like to kind of uh, give you uh, an outline on is the court system here in the state of Florida and also the federal system. As you can see, there's, there's actually two court systems that we deal with. Uh, I am a county court judge, which as you can see when you get the handout is at the bottom uh, of the rung. Uh, the next set of judges up are circuit judges. The difference is this, a county judge and a, and a circuit judge are both uh, courts, uh, trial courts. Anybody know what that is different from the First District Court of Appeals or the Florida Supreme Court? I kind of gave you the answer, come on. What's that? It's like before the real court. No, it's a real court, but it's a trial court. We hear cases, okay? Uh, in the county court, I hear... Um, well, civil traffic for one. I hear the smaller civil cases, $15,000 or less, come to me. In the criminal uh, realm, I hear misdemeanor cases, which is anything from a, a no valid driver's license all the way up to uh, DUIs, uh, domestic batteries, batteries, petty thefts, those kind of things. The circuit judges, which are right above me, they hear any case that's above $15,000, all the way up to millions of dollars, and uh, they handle the felony cases, which is anything from a grand theft all the, all the way up to first degree murder. So those two, case, those two courts handle trials. That is, we hear evidence and either make a decision as a judge or the jury there in our courtroom makes a decision as to the guilt or uh, not guilty of the defendant or whether there's any liability in any type of civil case. Those are the kind of things that, that we deal with. Uh, in both of those courts. The only difference is the circuit judges handle more serious cases. Uh, from there, if you have a case that uh, where your side is found against, uh, then you would have the right to appeal. And if you appeal my case, you would appeal it to a circuit judge. If you appeal the circuit judge's case, you would appeal it to the district court of appeals that you can see there. And then after that, it would go uh, potentially up to the Florida Supreme Court. Very seldom do cases go from the Florida Supreme Court all the way up to the U.S. Supreme Court, but you'll see on the other side of your paper is the first, uh, uh, no, I don't mean on the other side, the other side meaning the right side. <laughs> uh, you have the district court, okay, and the district court is a federal court system, and uh, they handle cases involving federal jurisdiction. Jurisdiction is what gives the judge the authority to handle a case. And so they handle federal jurisdictional cases, and the district court is the trial court there. Those cases are appealed up to the uh, circuit court level, and our circuit court level for the federal system is in Atlanta, and then from there it goes up to the U.S. Supreme Court. So it really depends upon where your case starts and where what court has jurisdiction. Okay, and. Um, and so they're really, that's, that's how the court system works. An attorney, or if you want to file your own lawsuit, you would figure out which court to file it in. You would file the court, uh, the papers. Uh, the people would then be served um, with, a, with process, which means they get notice of the lawsuit. And then they would come in and they would defend the case. Uh, and so that case would then go to trial. And sometimes most of the stuff that I do in the civil realm is, is I make the decision. Uh, there's no jury involved, the lawyers or the parties come in front of me and I handle the case and make a decision myself. On the criminal side, most of what I do is, is jury trial. The, the jury actually makes a decision and I, and I uh, uh, impose a sentence if the person is found guilty. Um, in circuit court, it's almost, it's probably half and half of what they do, which is probably half of it is in front of the judge in civil cases and half is in front of a jury in civil cases and in criminal cases, virtually everything in, in uh, circuit court is uh, is done by a jury. So.
So does anybody have any questions so far? That's just kind of a general outline of the court system. Um, anybody ever have to testify in court before? No? Yeah. What did you have to testify on? Uh, okay. All right. Um, you know, I mean, that could happen to anybody. You can get involved in a, in a case uh, and uh, have to come in, and it's not a very pleasant experience. Uh, because number one, you have to take time off of, out of your schedule to come down. Uh, anybody here ever served on a jury before? No? Um, you know, that, uh, I, I wish I could or wish I had. As a lawyer, I tried to get on the jury one time, but that didn't work very well either. So, uh, but you'd kind of like to know the inner workings of that. All right, well, what I'm going to do now is we're going to talk about the, uh, the Bill of Rights. Uh, somebody tell me what the Bill of Rights is. First ten amendments of the Constitution. Okay, first ten amendments of the Constitution. All right. All right, Mr. Compton. <laughs> Only one I know the name of, so you're the one that gets it today. <laughs> Tell me what are, and then you can call on your cohorts to help you out there. Uh, what are some of the rights set forth in the First Amendment? Do you know? Freedom of speech, religion, uh, press. Okay. Speech, religion, uh, press, petition, press, petition, assembly. Okay. Right to assemble. Did you have it? Yeah, well, I was in groups. Well, good. You can be number two. Okay. Number two. What right do we get there? <laughs> Anna, come on. I know, I, I know the guy over in the corner guy. He's already going, what do you mean you don't know that one? Right to bear arms. Okay. All right, what's your name over in the corner? Billy. Billy. All right, Billy. You're so smart. <laughs> Tell me number three. Um, something about quartering troops. Ooh, I'm impressed. I had to look at it myself. <laughs> All right. All right, Billy, let's go. You're on a roll. Number four. I don't remember four. Don't remember four. Get a hint. Huh? You're cheating. I'm going I'm to give, give you this, but I'm going to see what you can come up with first. Fourth Amendment. Reasonable sections. Or no unreasonable. No, no, no. We got to pull that. No, no. You got to turn that over. Uh-uh. Close up the books. We're going to see what you know. Listen, I have to look at them too, okay? I'm supposedly teaching the class. Unreasonable searches and seizures. Uh, what else? There's one more on that one. Okay, if a police officer comes to me and wants a warrant to arrest somebody, what is the standard that he has to have? <coughs> Probable cause. Okay, and I'm just going to put it up here as PC. Okay, that's probable cause. All right, Fifth Amendment. Anybody ever use that one? <laughs> you complete the fifth? Not guilty to a no. Let's see. You don't have to incriminate yourself. Freedom of silence. No, you're, you're talking about, well, wait a minute. Okay, hold on. Um, okay, who said self-incrimination? That one's right. Okay, protection against self-incrimination, and that's the one that, uh, that, you, that you hear most of the time. I plead the fifth, which is, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to, I don't want to testify against myself, or I don't want to give testimony against myself. Okay, anybody know any of the other ones? The Miranda rights in there somewhere? Nope. I, no. Number okay. six. Well, Miranda is really a procedure. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's not really a right. There is no. That Miranda is an explanation of your rights that the police have to give you. So it kind of encompasses, okay. quite frankly, four, five, and six. Okay? Six. Um, what's that? Six. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, let's go to.